nitrogen. It's an element we rarely think about yet it plays a crucial role in our everyday lives. It's all around us, in the air we breathe, the food we eat, and the soil beneath our feet. In fact, the air we breathe is composed of about 78% nitrogen, making it the most abundant gas in our atmosphere. But this abundant gas holds a secret. It's essential for all life on Earth. Without it, plants wouldn't grow, and animals wouldn't thrive. Plants and animals need nitrogen to grow and thrive. It's a fundamental component of amino acids, proteins, and even our DNA. It's a key building block of DNA, the blueprint of life itself. Every cell and every living organism relies on nitrogen to function properly. Without nitrogen, our planet would be a very different place, likely barren and devoid of the lush greenery and diverse ecosystems we see today. However, most living things cannot use nitrogen directly from the air. It needs to be converted into a form that plants can absorb through their roots, such as nitrates or ammonium. This transformation is crucial for the growth of crops and the health of ecosystems. Farmers often add fertilizers to the soil to provide the necessary nitrogen for plants. This is where the nitrogen cycle comes in, a fascinating journey of this vital element through the air, soil, and living organisms. It involves processes like nitrogen fixation, nitrification, and denitrification. It's a delicate balance, one that sustains life as we know it. The nitrogen cycle ensures that this essential element is continuously recycled and made available to all living things, maintaining the health and productivity of our planet. Imagine a vast, invisible cycle constantly churning around us. This cycle is essential for life on Earth, yet it often goes unnoticed. It's the nitrogen cycle, a complex journey that nitrogen takes through the air, soil, and living organisms. Nitrogen gas, abundant in the atmosphere is mostly inert. Making up about 78% of the air we breathe, it is a silent giant, omnipresent yet unreactive. It doesn't readily react with other elements. This stability is both a blessing and a challenge as nitrogen must be transformed to be useful for living organisms. To become useful for life, it needs to undergo a transformation, a process called nitrogen fixation. This is where nitrogen is converted into compounds like ammonia and nitrates, which plants can absorb and use. Lightning provides one natural way to fix nitrogen. The sheer power of a lightning strike can break the strong bonds of nitrogen molecules. Its immense energy can break apart nitrogen molecules in the air, allowing them to combine with oxygen and form nitrates. These nitrates are then carried by rain to the soil. Rain then carries these nitrates down to the soil, where plants can access them. This natural process enriches the soil, making it fertile and capable of supporting plant life. But lightning is not the only player in this vital process. There are other, more subtle, yet equally important contributors to nitrogen fixation. Hidden within the soil, a world teeming with microscopic life plays a crucial role in converting nitrogen into a usable form. Bacteria, such as those in the genus Rhizobium, form symbiotic relationships with the roots of certain plants like legumes. These bacteria convert atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia, which the plants can then use to grow and thrive. This symbiotic relationship is a cornerstone of the nitrogen cycle, ensuring that nitrogen is continuously made available to sustain life on Earth. Deep within the soil, a fascinating group of microorganisms work tirelessly. These are the nitrogen-fixing bacteria, nature's alchemists. They possess the remarkable ability to convert atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia, a form that plants can readily use. These bacteria are particularly abundant in the root nodules of certain plants forming a mutually beneficial relationship. The plants provide the bacteria with sugars produced through photosynthesis. In return, the bacteria supply the plants with a steady supply of usable nitrogen. It's a remarkable example of symbiosis in nature. Legumes, a plant family that includes beans, peas, and lentils, have a special relationship with nitrogen-fixing bacteria. These plants have developed nodules on their roots, providing a home for these beneficial bacteria. When you see these nodules, you're witnessing a tiny nitrogen factory in action. Inside, the bacteria are busy converting atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia. This natural process enriches the soil, making it more fertile. It's a sustainable and elegant solution perfected by nature over millions of years. Section 5. Beyond Legumes Unveiling Other Nitrogen Fixers While legumes are well known for their nitrogen-fixing prowess, they're not alone in this ability. 
Other plants, such as alders and certain species of ferns, also form partnerships with nitrogen-fixing bacteria. These plants play a crucial role in maintaining the health of forests and other ecosystems. Even in aquatic environments, nitrogen fixation is essential. Cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae, are microscopic organisms that can fix nitrogen. They play a vital role in the nitrogen cycle of oceans and lakes, supporting the intricate web of life in these ecosystems. Section 6. The Human Touch. Chemical Fertilizers and Their Impact. Chemical fertilizers have become an integral part of modern agriculture, transforming the way we grow our food. For centuries, humans have relied on natural processes to replenish nitrogen in the soil. Techniques such as crop rotation, composting and the use of animal manure were the primary methods to maintain soil fertility. However, the demand for food production has led to the development and widespread use of chemical fertilizers. These synthetic solutions were designed to meet the growing needs of an increasing global population. These fertilizers provide a quick and concentrated source of nitrogen, boosting crop yields. Farmers can now achieve higher productivity and ensure food security for millions. While chemical fertilizers have revolutionized agriculture, their overuse has come at a cost. The excessive application of these chemicals can lead to soil degradation, reducing its natural fertility over time. Excessive nitrogen runoff from fields can pollute waterways, leading to algal blooms that deplete oxygen and harm aquatic life. This not only affects the environment, but also the communities that rely on these water sources. The production of these fertilizers also consumes significant amounts of energy, contributing to greenhouse gas emissions. The industrial processes involved release pollutants into the atmosphere, exacerbating climate change. As we move forward, it is crucial to find a balance between the benefits of chemical fertilizers and their environmental impact, exploring sustainable alternatives to ensure a healthier planet for future generations. Section 7. A Delicate Balance. Weighing the Pros and Cons of Fertilizers. Chemical fertilizers have undoubtedly increased food production, helping to feed a growing global population. They provide crops with readily available nutrients, leading to faster growth and higher yields. However, it's crucial to acknowledge the potential downsides of their overuse. The environmental impact of chemical fertilizers is a growing concern. Nitrogen runoff can contaminate drinking water sources and disrupt delicate aquatic ecosystems. The production and transportation of these fertilizers also contribute to air pollution and carbon emissions. Section 8. Nurturing Nature's Way. The Benefits of Nitrogen-Fixing Plants. Nitrogen-fixing plants offer a sustainable and eco-friendly alternative to chemical fertilizers. By harnessing the power of these natural nitrogen fixers, we can reduce our reliance on synthetic inputs and promote healthier ecosystems. Incorporating nitrogen-fixing plants into agricultural practices can enhance soil fertility, reduce erosion, and improve water quality. These plants act as natural fertilizers, releasing nitrogen slowly into the soil as they decompose, providing a steady supply of nutrients for crops. Section 9. Sustainable Solutions Integrating Nitrogen-Fixing Crops in Agriculture Cover cropping, a practice of planting non-cash crops like clover or alfalfa between main crops, can significantly improve soil health. These cover crops, many of which are nitrogen fixers, help control weeds, prevent erosion, and enhance soil structure. Crop rotation, another sustainable farming practice, involves alternating nitrogen-demanding crops like corn with nitrogen-fixing crops like soybeans. This practice helps replenish soil nitrogen naturally, reducing the need for synthetic fertilizers. Section 10. A Greener Future. Harnessing the Power of Nitrogen Fixation. Understanding and harnessing the power of nitrogen fixation is crucial for creating a more sustainable future. By promoting the use of nitrogen-fixing plants in agriculture and restoring natural ecosystems, we can reduce our dependence on chemical fertilizers. Research into nitrogen fixation continues to yield promising results. Scientists are exploring ways to enhance the efficiency of nitrogen-fixing bacteria and develop new technologies that mimic nature's elegant solution to nitrogen availability. Section 11. Conclusion. A call to action for soil health. The nitrogen cycle is a fundamental process that sustains life on Earth. By understanding the role of nitrogen-fixing plants and their importance in maintaining soil health, 
we can make more informed choices about how we manage our agricultural practices. Let's work together to protect and nurture our planet's precious soil, ensuring a healthy and sustainable future for generations to come.